Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I'm going to be going over all the new characters that we know about coming to the game in the status of my account and who I plan on pulling, why, and who I don't plan on pulling, and why, of course. So let's get right into it. Um, basically right now, uh, I don't have Fushuan's thing pulled up, but we all know Fushuan. She is currently out in the game uh as we speak only for the two more days but i am grinding simulated universe and swarm disaster and i am trying to get uh trying to do the best i can to get enough gems to actually get her um the thing is i think she is just too good of a unit to pass up i literally want her so bad i didn't pull for dan hung uh in Bever Lune, and I am not planning on pulling for either of the 1.5 banners, which we'll get to. So, I really want Fushuan, Fushuan, but I also really want Jing Liu and Topaz. Now, that is going to require quite a bit of luck for me. I think failing 50-50 is not an option. If so, I'm probably going to miss out on one of those characters. Luckily for me, the character that I want the least out of those three, probably, which I still really want her, is Topaz. And so, yeah, luckily for me, she is the third one. So if I go really hard on Fushuan, then I go really hard on Jing Liu, and I'm just spitting dust by the time Topaz comes, you know what? It's okay. I will try to go for her. If I don't get her, I am not freaking out. Um, yeah, so let's just get into the why. Why I want Fushuan. Well, right now, currently, this is actually not what I'm doing right now. Um, let me leave for now. Let's go to Memory of Chaos, because this is more what it's all about, right? Um, obviously, I haven't made it very far in Swarm, but in terms of Memory of Chaos, uh, that is really, you know, I, I haven't really tested my limits in Swarm, but Memory of Chaos is also the really hard thing, um, and I cannot make it past 9. I think I could if I could just guarantee that my first team doesn't die. I have a problem, right? And my problem is that these characters lock down my characters. And my Bayou does not have a cleanse. So because my Bayou doesn't have a cleanse, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Because Bayou doesn't have a cleanse, and she is honestly kind of slow for me right now um, on my account, it's really unfortunate, but she will just let a character die and she'll revive them and then they'll die again before i can win this fight right so it is very very unreliable and that's happening at stage nine that's happened to me before in past mocs as well and if i can't take on stage nine i definitely can't even take on stage 10. now the second half of stage nine i'm actually really confident in because i can go by my bronya blade and luocha because it's you know it's imaginary and wind and i'm very confident that i can beat that but i can't even get to it because no matter how i stack a team even if i put um mc uh fire mc in there it's just not enough it's just not enough which is really really sad like yeah i just need someone with insane sustain that you know has the ability to kind of break through that and i also just want her because she is she's really cool i think she's a really cute character she's awesome um and i just kind of really want her so not only is it like kind of like a meta thing meta reason that i want her because i think she is probably one of the best sustainers in the entire game along with locha um i think that it is just yeah i mean honestly i cannot pass a character like this up especially after passing up in vivid or lune this has been an insane patch for really, really strong characters. And if I go past this without... This, this might be the best patch. Ushuan and Inhibitor Lune might together be insane. Unless Silverwolf and Luocha were on the same patch, that one might also be up there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Don Hong and Inhibitor Lune is obviously the best DPS in the game bar none at the current moment. And yeah, Fushuan is probably the best uh definitely the best preservation character in the game i was gonna say best sustain like team sustain character in the game probably honestly um yeah i mean that's just it is what it is 
But I really want her. Yeah, not just for meta reasons, because I really, really want her. So I'm going to keep pulling for her. And I really, really, really hope that I get her before the end of the patch. I have two days. Two days. I'm going to be grinding that last day because I had work today and I have work tomorrow. Open to close. So I'm really going to be grinding on Sunday before the patch hits. I think Monday or maybe. Yeah, I think it's Monday when the patch comes out. Uh, if I'm not wrong. Um, so yeah, that, that's the big reason why. And let's talk about why I really, 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 really want Jing Liu. I got to say Jing Liu. I think I want a little bit more than Fu Xuan, but not enough to like. Like, I believe. That even if I pull for for Fu Xuan, I can get Jing Liu. I just believe it in my heart of hearts. Maybe that'll bite me in the ass. Who knows? But one of the reasons why I really want Jing Liu is because there are so many ice weaknesses in this game. Um, currently, I'm stuck on this. This has ice on it. Uh, what this has? This has ice on both of the battles. Let's see. This has ice on one of the battles. This has ice on. Okay, no, this doesn't have ice. Uh, number two doesn't have ice. So yeah, in the later stages of this, it has ice, which is like, I'm already almost done completing that. So it's perfectly fine by me, but I'm just saying also MOC has been pretty ice heavy. Uh, that's not one, two, seven. Yep. Seven down here. It is imaginary and ice. Uh, the only imaginary character that I have even moderately built and on my account because I didn't pull, uh, Don Hong or in Bibiter Lune is Locha. He's a healer, bro. Like, I know he's an attack-based healer, but he's a healer. I barely got by this one. This one is Ice and Fire. Well, what are my best fire characters? Himiko. Bro. Oh my god. Just fucking shoot me at that point. Like, what the hell? Himiko? Really? That's why I'm relying on? To beat stage 8 of MOC? Yeah, that's why I can only one-star this shit. Like, the first stage is so easy. I can use QQ, Ronya, Blade, and a healer like uh by you and they smurf right through it i get to this monkey man and i even if i put you know my asta is not built enough really um so that could probably help but i don't think it's going to be enough because i have himiko uh luocha and main character and i put pela on there it's just not enough if i can if i get uh if i get jing liu or in my pela who have been slowly working on building up and up. And my pale is actually getting pretty good. Uh, they're going to work together really, really well. Also, one of the biggest reasons I want Fu Xuan is because I farmed so hard for Blades gear on the, uh, the health gear that I honestly have like a perfect set I can instantaneously put on my Fu Xuan and she'll already be like super powerful. She'll, she'll already be really good. Um... So MOC 9 doesn't really have it. I don't know what MOC 10 has. Um, but yeah, MOC 8 has it. So I I just can't get the stars for that. MOC 7 had it. I had a really hard time with that, but I managed to finally squeak through. Um, MOC 4 has it. Also just the imaginary and ice. And it's like, Okay, there's another MOC stage with ice. There's another MOC stage with ice. Here we go. Okay, not that one. And my point is also, these can change. I'll probably, I would assume after this resets in nine days, this memory of chaos, because Jing Liu is coming out in order to maybe get some pulls out of people, I'm assuming there's going to be ice on higher floors as well. And if Pela is my only solo soldier with the ice, it's just like, it just doesn't make sense. Plus, I don't have, I mean, if you just look at my account in general, guys, I do not have ice characters. I have Pela, who's like doing okay. She's level 70. She has Silver Wolf's Light Cone. Really, really, really good Light Cone, by the way. But even that's not max, it's still 70. And then also, like, her traces aren't maxed, her relics aren't leveled. It's been rough, because I just have so many characters that I'm trying to get up there. But that's not even the point. She's still okay enough to use. Unironically, I've used her and she doesn't like die or go or like ruin the match or anything like that. But next up is March 7th, who I have already decided I'm never putting any more resources into. I'm just pretty much done with the character, which is okay. 
to get to a point with that in characters that are old that you are not going to use anymore. And then also I have Herda, who I honestly just don't want to put resources into because I have been waiting for the next five star uh, ice character to come out. Also, she's destruction. She would work very well with my blade. Also, she would work extremely well with my Fushuan. Fushuan is very, very good um, and has extreme, um, extreme synergy with pretty much every destruction character. That's why it's pretty unfortunate that I missed Imbibitor Lune because Blade, Jing Liu, and Imbibitor Lune are like going to be all three in the top four DPSs in the game and they're all destruction. Um, but honestly, Imbibitor Lune, when it comes to like synergies with the other, with Fu Xuan and how Bayou's heals can increase uh, max HP on characters, you know, I'd say he probably has the least amount of synergy with them because he relies, he, he like has less mechanics based on his health and has more ca mechanics based on uh, power, uh, talent point usage. Uh, it's just how interesting how they've used the character. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of the status where I'm at. That's why I really want Jing Liu. Uh, uh, these next ones are going to be really fast. Topaz and Numbi. Topaz and Numbi I really want because she's a really good synergy with follow-up characters. And she's Fire Hunt. So I would actually have a really good Fire character that isn't mm -hmm. Himiko. And also she would work very well with Himiko because she empowers your follow-up attacks. Uh, so yeah, she empowers follow-up attacks. I have a lot of Iridition characters. My Pretty much my main cast of DPS is Iridition. So Himiko, Jing Yuan both have a lot of follow-up attacks. And then I have Blade, whose destruction has a follow-up attack. Very important. I have Clara, destruction, follow-up attack. Oh yeah, I forgot about Clara. She's also destruction. She's incredible. Um, I have uh, QQ going hard. She has follow-up attack. Um, also I have, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it, but also I think Jing Liu has a follow-up attack, but so every single main DPS I have in my entire account, there's not one, there's not one DPS on my account that doesn't rely off, uh, follow-up attacks. Not one that I've built, maybe Shu Shang, Shu Shang, okay, it is Shu Shang. Shu Shang is probably the most built DPS that doesn't rely off of follow-up attacks. So, Obviously, I really, really want Topaz and Numbi. She's supposed to make them, she's supposed to make follow-up attackers really, really good into single target whenever she puts the uh, debuff on them. And that's going to be really, really good for my characters and my account and the synergies that I'm trying to make here. So I really, really want her, but I would honestly say if it, if it came down to Fu Xuan, Jing Liu, or Topaz, and I could only pick two, I'm picking Fu Xuan and Jing Liu. I think Jing Liu is such an insanely cool character. Honestly, that's that's honestly why I also want her kind of bad. You know, most people would probably say, you know, at that rate, I would just want Topaz and Numbi based on everything I just said about whenever I started talking about Topaz, that all of my DPSs are relying off of follow-up attacks and she's like the follow-up attack mm -hmm. character. But yeah. It's, yeah, I, I still really want her, and I, I just want Jing Liu a little bit more. I want Fu Xuan insanely bad. Insanely bad. Just seeing what she's been able to do on other people's accounts, crazy. Uh, Gwenevin, I don't really care that much about Gwenevin. I think she's cool. Um, we'll just see, you know? She's fired in ability. I assume she, you know, both of these characters are really good follow-up attackers. We, uh, I guess she is the addition to kind of tie over Kafka mains until 1.5. So yeah, if you went the follow-up attack route with your account, you're going to be very happy with the five stars. You're going to want the Kafka uh, damage over time route with your account, um, with your DPS. Uh, you're going to be really excited for Gwenevin. And then next patch is Huo Uh I don't really know a lot about this character. I don't look at leaks at all. Actually, at all. So I'm chilling. I honestly don't know about this character. I don't have anything to say about this character. I just have to see the kit, and then I'll make my opinions there. So I'm really, I'm just kind of sk going to skip over her. Argenti is a physical iridition character. So AoE physical. And physical has the best damage over time in the game with the bleed. Um, so I would assume, and since this guy is obviously iridition, he's going to be hitting AoE, gets bleeds on everybody. I assume this is going to be the five star that goes extremely extremely hard with kafka besides maybe like 
I guess it wouldn't be Welt because Welt is nihility, yeah, but um, so you'd think that he'd work well with Kafka, but he's more about, you know, he's he doesn't put damage over time on him. He puts them in the uh, stasis because he's because uh, he's imaginary. Um, but yeah, Argenti, I think you know, being able to AOE apply the strongest dot, you know, with the bleeds, with the physical bleeds, I think he's going to be an insane, insane Kafka pairing. Probably one of her best characters with her. Uh, it really depends on what way they take him. If I mean, he could also not only just be used as like a, a damage over time bot for Kafka, but he could also just be straight up, you know, he's Iridition, so I assume he might get a pretty good follow-up attack because um, Iridition characters usually also get follow-up attacks, and that's kind of also core to their theme. So he could also be a really good follow-up attacker, and he'd just be good with both comps. I don't think I care about this guy, because I think he is going to be more Kafka favored. But we'll have to see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Um, Hanya, I think Hanya looks really cool, and I really want her. She's so fucking hot, bro. Uh, she's so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, yeah. Physical harmony character. Uh, obviously she could be just as strong as, you know, if they give her, they, they can make her the next Ting Yuan, uh, or Ting Yun. I don't know why I said that. Ting Yuan, like I'm saying Jing Yuan, but they could make her just as good or stronger than Ting Yun, which I hardly see happening, but they could make her do a lot of things to kind of like keep her right up there with Ting Yun, or they could just release her as kind of like a, a, a good, obviously, but not insane um harmony character like asta or yukong like obviously really good but not as good as ting yun or hopefully not as good as bronya she's a four star um so yeah we'll just have to see and also i'm assuming because she's physical she is also coming on argenti's burn uh, banner and huo huo is coming out first in 1.5 Usually they try to match uh, banners like Lynx is quantum and he was on a quant or she's on a quantum banner with Bushuan. Uh Hanya's physical on a physical banner with Argenti, I would assume, because Gwenevin is fire on a fire banner with Topaz and Numbi. Usually they try to match those. I think they've matched them every single time. I think Ting I think Jing Yuan came out with uh, Yukong. Wait, no, no, that couldn't have been right. Uh, Luocha came out with Yukong. Um, that's what it was. Uh, Jing Yuan. Did Jing Yuan come out with Ting Yun? Is that who he came out with? That would make sense. Um, unless he came out with nobody because he was like the first. He's like the second five star ever that came out and he was on like the first patch of the game. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I would assume that's what the banners are looking like. And I would assume these are the characters that I want to pull. Uh, definitely high priority on Fu Xuan. She's not gone yet. I have two days yet. Uh, high priority on Jing Liu. Uh, slightly below, but still high priority on Topaz and Numbi. And then almost no priority on Gwynevin. Other than she's like an insanely, insanely hot, insanely cool character. Um, not really any priority on Huo Huo. Or Huo Huo. I don't know how to say her name, HH, until I see what she does. If she is just literally by you, but 17,000 times, but they could make her the best healer in the game. It's going to be hard to top Luocha based on what, what Luocha does and how many good synergies he has. But yeah, they, she could be the best healer in the game, and then I instantly kind of want her. But that would just be so hard going for four characters in a row. It's just not possible. So I honestly think even if I do want her, I'm going to have to make the skip. Uh, Argenti, I honestly have no pull towards him, but considering my account is follow-up based, if they do go the route of making him like the next Jing Yuan just better, just a little better, I think that, you know, obviously I want to pull him, but I can't. That'd be five characters in a row that I want to pull. It's not going to happen. But I kind of want to pull a little bit on his banner, like maybe just do two ten pulls and pray to God I get Hanya. Uh, because Hanya is mamma mia, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the four stars, the four stars make me feel some kind of way. That's all I'm saying. 
but yeah uh thank you all for watching this has been 20 minutes I've been kind of rambling for a little bit but that is the state of my account and why i want jing liu i need ice i need fushuan because i can't trust bayou <laughs> it's just what it is and she has an insane synergy insane synergy with blade and then i want topaz because all the character all the main dps is on my account including the ones i'm currently like planning on going for are follow-up attack based and she empowers follow-up attacks and she's also fire damage with i think which i think i need a little bit more on the account so yeah that's the strat and hopefully i won't feel the need to go for anybody on 1.5 that way i can cool down and maybe go hard for a character on 1.6 i don't know okay i don't know guys but that's that's kind of how i'm feeling so thank you all for watching if you like the video like the video if you dislike it dislike it um subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day